Hey everybody, happy St. Paddy's Day. I figured since it was St. Paddy's Day that we would have a look at the Boondock Saints figures. Um, I got these specifically for St. Paddy's Day to have a to have a review of them today. And I've been waiting for ever since before Christmas to review these guys. So let's get these guys uh, out of packaging and um, we'll go from there. You've already seen the front of the package, or the back of the packaging, sorry, tongue slip. So here's the front of his packaging. And there's the front of his packaging. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get these guys opened up. Always practice knife or scissor safety. Okay, guys, so today we're having a look at Connor and Murphy McManus, the McManus brothers from the Boondock Saints. And um, I think that these figures are amazing for what they are. And once again, it's St. Patty's Day, so I figured... You know, I'm not Irish myself, but I figured I could show off a couple of uh, Irish um, heroes. You know, some sometimes in life you just want to, uh, as they say, you hear about bad stuff happening and you just want to go kill those mother effers. Alright, so let's have a look at the McManus boys. Um, first thing we're going to have a look at is the accessories, okay? And they both came with regular head sculpt and an alternate head sculpt. I like these alternate heads better, and this is probably what I'm going to have on the figures because I just like the look. So there's the head sculpt. I mean, there's the alternate head sculpt. They both came with... Uh, forgive me, I'm trying to do this off screen. They both came with similar guns. And they're very movie accurate. And they also came, both of them, one each. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I got big hands. They also came with one of these silencer pistols. That if you watch the movie, it's the same gun. Which is awesome. So that's the accessories for Boondock Saints. And uh, I believe that this movie came out in 1999. Um, the premise of the movie was uh, two guys have basically, they fall into being vigilantes. And um, the movie goes on to be the Boston Police Department makes them out to be folk heroes and they figure, hey, uh, we'll just keep doing this until we get in, until somebody starts caring about all the dead bad guys. So it's a fun movie. You know, it was an interesting premise. Um, I love the freaking movie. I watch it constantly. If it's on TV, I'll watch it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay, so let, I'm going to do his articulation because it's basically the same with both of them. Um, first off, let's have a look at this awesome cross. Yeah, just like it was in the movie. The trench coat. Well, I don't know if that's a trench coat, but it's the coat that they wore in the movie. It's got the buttons on both sides, um, the jacket, there's a little tattoo that you can see right there, the five o'clock shadow is amazing, his hair, the way they sculpted the hair is amazing, um, the belt buckle, as you can see down there, the belt buckle, and it just looks like two guys off the wharf, even a little bit of, uh, uh, age to the bottom of the boot to where it's been worn down. Um, 
yeah, brown boots. There's sadly no articulation in the bottom. Um, let's cover articulation real fast. His arm goes up. Elbow. The hand doesn't pivot that much. And I'm not trying to force it because I don't want to break it. The head is back and forth. It goes down just a little bit, but yeah. The other arm, same thing. Goes there's a articulation and there's just a little bit of articulation in the hand. Um, so here's the first brother from the front. And whew, so I almost knocked over my uh, uh, light <laughs> here. And here's the first brother from the back. I set him where he goes. And then, once again, the head sculpt is amazing. The hair, the tattoo. He's got the same basic cross, coat, articulation on both sides. And nothing underneath. Let's see if the waist... Nope, nothing in the waist either. So here he is from the back, and here he is from the front. Um, go ahead and set him back there. Their head sculpt is really weird, in my opinion. Because, oh yeah, because um, the way that the neck is on these figures. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like they're supposed to be facing like this. Yeah. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but, you know, that's just me. So, I'm going to take these figures off for just a sec. I'll be right back. So, I don't know if you can see it, but one brother has a tattoo on this side, and the other brother has a tattoo on the opposite side. Okay, and these tattoos are supposed to be remnant of these tattoos right here so I think I think that the attention to detail in these figures is phenomenal so I've shown you what they what the brothers look like with their regular pistols in their hand that they came with now I'm going to show you what they look like with the silencers in their hands so here's what the guns look like with the silencers in their uh, hands and See, this This looks like the uh, iconic scene in the courtroom right before they, well, just just go watch this, the boondock, boondock Saints and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so this has been my review of the NECA toys, uh, NECA real toys, sorry, uh, Boondock Saints action figures. And, um, do I give this a smash or a no smash? I give this a huge smash. Sorry that the video was so long, but, you know, I figured it's St. Patty's Day, and, um, I'm gonna review these guys today because it's the perfect day to do it. Uh, now there is one figure that they didn't come out with that would have been cool if they would have, but I understand why they didn't. It's the Boondock Saints friend. His name escapes me but um, it would have been really cool to see the three of them together oh yeah I think his name was Rocco so this is the closest that we're ever gonna get to a boondock Saints Rocco action figure <laughs> anyways enough silliness aside um, <coughs> I give this video I give these figures I mean a huge smash 
and uh, tell me what you thought about these figures in the comments. And uh, cheers, everybody. Happy St. Patty's Day. Shepherds, we shall be for the evil of the day. Our wrath descended forth from thy hand. Call on us to carry out thy command. So we shall flow river forth to thee, and teeming with souls shall it ever be. In nomine patri, in fili, spiritus sante.